Hi. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She's not having it today. I said, sit down. Okay. Hey guys. Hi. I am vlogging. Aspen, chill out. Um, yeah. Aspen and I, what are we doing, huh? We are at Starbucks. Surprise, surprise. Can you, okay, she's leaving. She's eating a pom-pom. Nice. So basically, raising Aspen in college is not easy. Say the least and yes everyone told me not to get a puppy in college everyone literally everyone so sorry I didn't listen she's a handful she really is I didn't realize huskies are like crazy like everyone I meet is like wow you got a husky like good luck and I'm just like oh I didn't know that they were this difficult I don't have a yard at the moment like I have like I have sort of a yard, but like not like a backyard with a fence. So I can't like let her loose to run around when she wants. And that's really hard because she needs that so bad. She's sleeping now. She sleeps a lot. And when she's not sleeping, she's running. So there's like no in between. We love her. She's an angel, kind of. She's in the teething phase. So she's literally chewing anything possible. She has a million toys. Like she has so many toys but she always prefers to chew on my hands or my legs or my blankets, like literally anything that's not a toy she wants to chew on. I mean, I get it, like her teeth probably hurt. I understand why she's chewing on stuff, but like, don't bite me, please. All right, I got my Starbucks. Yeah, that's about all I've done today. But I have class soon. So if you're wondering, Aspen comes to class with me. I know that sounds like really stressful, like what, how do you bring a puppy? But <clears throat> I'm trying to get her to behave in like social places like school and like stores and stuff. I'm trying to get her used to that sort of um, environment because that's like my life. She's still super young and she doesn't really understand like, oh, it's not playtime. But in some of my classes, depending on the class, it's weird. She'll just chill out and like fall asleep the whole class and it's amazing because that's really what I want her to know how to do is like lay down and chill out. Kind of depends the day, kind of depends the time because obviously if she's sitting in three classes in a row, she's gonna get really like annoyed and want to run around. So I try to like run her around before each class to get her energy out so then she's more likely to be relaxed in class with me. And my teachers are like amazing. They're so, so, so nice about it and supportive. And I mean, they put up with her, so it's it's great. I mean, I feel like a lot of teachers would not do that. Also like the city I live in is super dog friendly. Honestly, this whole state is really dog friendly. She's, she's pretty good in public settings. Like in Starbucks, she'll just like kind of lay down and wait for me. Target, when we get near the dog aisle, she's, she's running in there and she tries to find bones, which, Whatever, we'll just let her do it. My biggest concern is when I go home for Thanksgiving in like less than two weeks, I have to take her on the airplane because it's kind of pointless to drive home. It's like 13, 14 hour drive to drive home for, for a week. Like that doesn't really make sense. So I don't know. And you can't sedate puppies because they get drowsy and they aren't able to walk and then you can't fly with them if, that's, if they're like that. So, I'm a little bit nervous. Flying with a dog is a lot different than flying with a cat. My cat does his own thing. He just like, I let him out of his carrier and he just chills. But Aspen, I don't know. We're gonna have to make it work because I don't know what else to do. I want her to be able to travel well because going from state to state is gonna be a big thing. So I need her to start learning that now. So, if you have any tips on flying with dogs, please tell me, because I'm scared. I'm so sick also. I'm like dying. I don't know what I'm sick with. Probably the flu, because 
I'm an idiot and I didn't get the flu shot, so. But I deserve it, I guess. Because I didn't get the freaking shot. So I'm dying now. Ariana Grande goes off, man. Aspen's taking a nap, which is a bad thing because we're about to go to class and I need her to sleep in class, not now. Great. Aspen, wake up. All right, we're working on that. It's midterms. Great, right? Yeah, I have three exams this week, one exam next week, two papers due next week, and a quiz, I believe. I basically have to do really, really well because your girl, your girl needs to get some good grades. I really do. And I've been slacking a little bit and I gotta get it together, I really do. So I'm basically just like dying. It stresses me out to look at my calendar and see all these exams like in a row. It just like, cause it's so hard to, like you're, you're spending hours studying for one subject, you take the exam and you basically just like don't have to think about that information anymore. And then you have to start studying for a whole different exam, like literally the next day. And it's just like, I just studied for all this stuff and it's all in my head and now I have to start learning another subject. And it just gets to be a lot for me personally. It, I don't know, my brain feels like it's gonna explode, so. On the bright side, the weather is great today. It's really sunny. The sun is just hitting it nice and pretty like. Yes. I'm about to head to class. My least favorite class ever. But we're reviewing for the exam, so I sort of have to go. Pray for me. All right, I'm gonna go die in school.